Close your eyes, watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. You're trying to train the mind. After all, the Buddha said the mind is in charge. It's like having a little child in charge. If it hasn't been trained, it's like a child who hasn't been to school, hasn't received any training. It just goes by its moods. It can end up creating a lot of trouble. So we train it. Stay right with the breath, all the way in, all the way out, and then all the way in with the next one and the next one. If it asks how long we're going to stay here, say, don't ask. Just be right here with this breath, this breath right now. It's only when you train it in this way that you really make a difference. Otherwise, the breath just becomes one more place where the mind stops off, and it moves on, and it comes back, and it moves on. That doesn't create any new skill or any new talent in the mind. You need the talent of learning how to stay. And part of it is encouraging yourself to stay, seeing the value of this. This is why we have the Dharma talks. When the Buddha would give Dharma talks, he would not only instruct, but he would also urge, rouse, and encourage. In other words, give you reasons for why you can see this is a good thing to do. And then create a sense of well-being with the breath. So it does feel good to be here. But you really got to keep it consistently right here, right here. This is what mindfulness is for. It stitches together our moments of awareness, because awareness comes and goes in little moments. But it needs a thread to tie them all together. Otherwise, if the thread breaks, you find yourself someplace else, because the mind can skip around really far and really fast. And it's not the case that if something is really far away, it takes longer to get there. You can think of the edge of the universe, and your mind is right there. So the mind is really quick, so you have to be careful to stitch each moment together. That way the mind develops new talents. And when it has this new talent, then it can see itself more clearly, because it's right there all the time. All too often we hear for a little bit, and then we're off someplace else, and then back here, and then off someplace else. Whatever happens in the times when we're away, we don't see. When you stitch things that are far apart like that together, then you're not really sure whether you've got the right story in line or not. But if you're right here with each breath, each breath coming in and going out, you can see what's going on in the mind and see what's causing what and what needs to be changed. And that's how you make a difference, not only developing mindfulness, but also developing your discernment and tie the two words together, sati panya. When you put them together, it means intelligence. And this is the intelligence of a person who knows that the mind has to be trained. It needs new skills, new talents, and is willing to put in the effort. Because it's only when you put in the effort that the results are going to come.